Hello learners and welcome back to our grammar and punctuation lesson. This morning we are looking, we continue actually looking at more punctuation. Last week we were looking at speech marks, question marks, exclamation marks and so on. This morning we continue looking at punctuation as well. Now I would want you to get your learners books and open them to page 137, page 137. Now, there are, there are different columns here that are showing you the type of punctuation in a sentence. So let's begin from here. We have full stops. Mark the end of the sentence. So a full stop marks the end of a sentence. I love reading full stop. So that is the full stop there. Then we have capital letters. What are capital letters? Capital letters show the beginning of a sentence, proper nouns and titles. So proper nouns are supposed to begin with a capital letter. Let's look at this sentence. My best friend is Paula. So my marks the beginning of a sentence. That is why it's in the capital. And then Paula, the name of a noun that's a proper noun paula olivia lusungu and so on so all those are should begin with a proper noun p there so those are capital letters then we have commas commas separate items in a list look at this sentence i need to buy apples comma oranges comma bananas and plums you can notice that after bananas there's no comma there why because we have and and is marking the end of the list and plums so that's how you need to list your things and place your commas as well do not place your comma before and always place commas before and let's look at the exclamation marks what are they they indicate exclamations or commands like maybe when someone wants to emphasize a, a point or someone is commanding you or someone is screaming for help there's always an exclamation mark help it means someone needs your help there's a dragon so those are exclamation marks or if someone has to to call you out to say you know um roman you need to you when they call you like that it means they are calling you with passion it means maybe they're in trouble they need something urgent so there's an exclamation there an exclamation mark okay and then we move on to question mark it indicates questions. Where are you going on holiday? There's a question mark there. Okay? And whenever you're asking questions, there are certain words that you need to use and to start with. Where? What? When? All those are asking words. All right. Let's move on to speech marks. Speech marks show words spoken in dialogue where you are quoting someone who said something, not you, somebody else, right? Maybe you're writing a story. You need to use speech marks when you're quoting someone's uh, words. So in here we have open speech marks. I want to play hide and seek. Close speech marks. Said, she said. Okay. Or said Malumbo. You know, things like that. So you are quoting what someone said when you are using speech marks. Then we come to apostrophes. Apostrophes show where two words have been joined together, then shortened. So we have the fire isn't. Isn't, the, 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 the long form of isn't is is not so there's no o there o has been removed and hence a comma there has been placed 
and it has to be on top, which stands for the missing letter, which is O, is not, isn't. The fire isn't burning now. Show possession when someone has or owns something. Arturo's aunt is Mrs. Sabella. So Mrs. Sabella is Arturo's aunt. So you use the, the apostrophe there again to show possession or ownership. Okay. Now let's listen to what Mr. Duck is saying concerning punctuation. So Mr. Duck says there, punctuation adds meaning to a sentence. It helps us to read with expression and understanding. That is why last week you had to work on that uh, activity where you needed to use punctuation in the missing uh, squares. You were given uh, empty squares for you to put punctuation there. If you didn't understand what to do, I think from here you are able now to understand where you need to place what particular punctuation. So you can still go back to what you did yesterday and be able to learn if you made any mistakes. So here is some extra practice for you. The instruction says, make these sentences into, you, sorry, copy these sentences into your notebook, adding the punctuation. So we have number one there and it says, I'm going out. Do you want to come with me? Asked Grace. There's no punctuation there. Even the way the sentence is starting, it's quite wrong. And then number two says, no, I can't come. I've got to finish my homework, replied Bianca. So these are two questions. These are two uh, sentences or asking questions and response that you need to correct in your notebooks. So you need to correct them in a correct manner by following the punctuation that is uh, from the table above there. Well, learners, I hope you have understood and you're going to enjoy your work as you do this. Enjoy yourselves until the next time. It's goodbye.